and I had my I picked I picked my spots where I wanted to be aggressive and, and uh, you know teammates work with me. Um, Demar had it going in the first quarter. I didn't really have to press a lot, so um, it was just uh, it was, it's easier when he has it going for sure. Before you found your stride, what was going on uh, in the first quarter? You know, no points. But you went on a tear from there. What was going on with you in the first quarter? <laughs> Basically, just, I mean, it wasn't really much. I missed shots, you know. I missed shots before. Last night, I missed a lot of shots. So, it's nothing, you know. I'm, I'm one of those guys that, you know, if I go out there and miss two, I'm going to make sure I make the third. So, you know. Like I said before, it's, it's a lot better when yeah, he's going and I don't have to force it a lot. You don't appear to be a guy who plays with the Avengers. Did you really want to stick it to this team tonight? I don't appear that way. That's good. That's good it looks that way, but I always want to come back. You know, it's competitive. When you play against old guys, you know, even people from high school I play against, you know, it's always competitive and you want to win. So, you know, it's even more that we need this win. We lost a tough one in, in Houston and we came in here with a vengeance. How much easier is it to get good looks when the ball is moving the way that it was? Oh, it's just a lot easier. You know, um, our offense is, is basically – dedicated to, to moving the ball. And we have to do that. When we won't do that, it's stagnant. So, you know, it's hard for me and Demar to score. So, you know, when we're moving the ball, we're a lot better team. Resiliency is something you guys have emphasized in, in losses. But today in a win, how big was it in that third quarter stretch when they tied the game at 17? Well, I mean, um, we knew they weren't going to lay down. You know, they're a great team. Um, have a lot of experience. And, you know, for sure they weren't going to lay down. Just let us beat them. So, um, we knew they were going to make their run. We just had to withstand that and come out there and, and, and second that with our run. Rudy, you seemed to let the game come to you in the first quarter. The game kind of cruising along. You weren't really, I wouldn't say too involved, but then a couple of corner threes came to you wide open. That seemed to, to get you. That's how it is. I mean, obviously my teammates look for me, so, you know, it's eating. You know, they don't make sure that I'm not out of the game, you know. I can make plays. They can make plays for me, so, you know, that's, that's, that's how we've gotten as a team thus far. Uh, as Josh said, the game tied at 70. What did you guys do in that run? Coach Sidey Kyle's Play defense. Leadership? Defense. Yeah. Defense. When we play defense, we're hard to beat, especially like we did tonight. Did you feel like the teammates uh, before this game, man, they seem like they wanted to you know, go out there and win this before tonight. <laughs> no, I don't think it was for me as much as we needed it anyway, you know. I mean, obviously, we want to we want to win every game, but you know, for me personally, it was a little emotional. But other than that, um, especially coming off the Houston loss, we needed this game. Reception, how you expected it coming into the game? You know what? Honestly, I came in I came in expecting the unexpected. So you know, when you when you come with a mindset like that, it doesn't matter what happens. Fans didn't boo you until you started. They realized you were about to have a great game. <laughs> That's when, I, that's when I realized I don't play here anymore. <laughs> really, I mean, on it, I mean, these these fans have been good to me for six years. Never been in here. Never been. It's my first time. It's kind of weird. You know, when I walked in, I almost walked down there to the other locker room. To be honest with you. <laughs>